$51,220. This is the amount I made on one of my smallest software as a service businesses. And today I'm gonna show you how with the use of AI, I was able to set up one of these businesses in less than four hours. And the cool thing, I didn't need any coding skills. And we've all heard the stories. Russell Brunson built a $360 million software as a service empire. The founders of the Honey app got paid $4 billion from PayPal for a simple coupon software. And my friend Kim came to me a few years ago and asked me, Marcus, how are you setting up these little softwares and tools and making millions of dollars? I showed her and last I heard, she's doing close to $3 million a year. So yeah, this business pays big. And now with the use of AI, we don't need to set up something huge and get millions of dollars of funding. That's right, put your money away because these can be done super fast and with minimal investment. And in just a minute, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how I started a software as a service business in less than four hours using none other than the $20 version of ChatGPT. And some of you guys might say, yeah, Marcus, right. You're gonna set up a software business in four hours for $20? And I wouldn't believe it either, unless I saw it with my own eyes. Because I've been making these simple little software tools ever since about 2011. And I started because I wanted to create a simple little WordPress plugin to help people do things with their website. And since WordPress had like a bazillion users, I figured this would work pretty well. And back then we didn't have ChatGPT and other tools that are readily available for anyone to make software. I actually had to hire a programmer and spend money to have these things built. It wasn't super expensive, but it did set me back about $25,000 a year. And the problem is that everyone wants to start the next big thing. Click funnels, higher level marketing software, Salesforce, or something gigantic like that. And this poses two major problems. First, in order to build something like that, you're gonna need millions of dollars in the bank just to get started. And second, there's tons of competition with way deeper pockets than you have. I mean, do you really think you're gonna go up against Russell Brunson or PayPal, who now owns the Honey app? Forget about it. But what if you could do something very simple in a short amount of time with very little money that makes you anywhere from 50,000 to 100,000 or a million dollars a year or more? That's exactly what I'm talking about here. And that's exactly what I've been doing for many years. That's also what I taught my friend Kim to do. And now she's raking it in big time. And it all has to do with a simple acronym, F-T-P-O. I'll get to what that means in just a minute and how that's gonna help you make money. But first, let's dive in the computer. I'm gonna show you how I come up with ideas, build the software using AI, find customers, and ultimately make money. So if you're excited to learn this skill for free, smash a like button and type something in the comments below to let me know you're paying attention. Okay, so now let's get to the nitty gritty of how I actually did this and built a software as a service business in four hours. This is actually super simple and it looks like I have a little typo here. Please ignore that. First, what we're gonna do is look at how to come up with proven ideas. How do we come up with an idea for a software that's actually going to make money and not break the bank before we even get started? And the way we're gonna do this, and I'm gonna show you an example in just a minute with the software that I built, we're gonna solve a simple problem. We're gonna start with one simple problem. Now, there's several ways you can go about looking for this. We can go out there and we can use ChatGPT and you can take a platform and say, what's some problems people have with X, Y, and Z? It'll search out there and find the problems on forums that people are complaining about. So let's say something like, what are some problems people have with WordPress as a site builder? 
This is going to go through and tell us the problems that they have with WordPress or whatever other tools you're using. So we could see here performance and speed is a very popular one, security concerns, plugin and theme maintenance, SEO challenges, getting ranked on the search engines, complexity, maybe they want something easier, updates and compatibility, website backups, customizing different things on their theme or their plugins or whatever it is. And as we can see, a lot of these are actually very basic, but it's not just limited to WordPress. We can say, how about some issues people have with Infusionsoft? This is going to go through and find all the problems people have with Infusionsoft, like how do I make an order form or how do I manage my mailing list or whatever it is. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the Ahrefs free keyword tool or paid keyword tool to find these different things. We are going to put different words in like on platform. I can go through and say something like on WordPress or maybe I'm looking for a converter or something like that. And what we're going to see is all different kinds of things like how to disable comments on WordPress. That's a plugin we can make super fast or how to improve SEO on WordPress. Again, a very simple plugin, how to clear the cache on WordPress. We can make a plugin for that too, or say you don't want to do WordPress and you just want to do something like an image converter. And we could see that quite a few people are looking up image converters. PDF to image converter, image converter to JPG, upscalers, and on and on we go. Or we can use the word remove. What kind of things do people want to remove? We could see here, remove background is super big. Over 100,000 searches a month. Remove background from image, background remover, how to remove duplicates in Excel. It's got like 10,000 searches a month. And we could see here, the competition isn't that hard. Or let's say we want a compiler and we could see stuff like compile time error, compile Python to exe, compile PDF. Let's dive into this PDF one here. Compile PDF. We could see here 500 searches a month, 150 PDF combiner, 161,000 searches a month. PDF combiner. Here we have combinepdf.com. Let's check this out. So you literally just upload the PDFs and it'll make one PDF from several PDFs. That seems pretty easy. I could just go over here to ChatGPT and say, let's create a tool for my website that takes several PDF files and combines them into one. Enter. And this will actually go through and prompt you on how to create the tool and it'll actually create the code for you. It's super simple. And since we know this is based on something that gets hundreds of thousands of searches a month, this can make us money in a super simple way. Stay tuned because it's probably not what you're thinking. And as we can see here, ChatGPT is going to work making the Python script that actually makes this thing work. And it'll teach me exactly how to put this on my website, how to make it work the whole nine yards. And using my secret software trigger word list, just like this, you'll be finding profitable ideas all day, every day. And I'll put the entire list for you over at downloadmynotes.com so that you can go through and use your keyword tools and find killer software ideas that you can use to put money in your pocket. Next up, what we're going to do is visualize the plugin with ChatGPT. First, let's take a look at the one that I had created in just a couple hours. This one was born out of my own personal pain. You see, when I post something on WordPress or I create notes for you guys over at downloadmynotes.com, sometimes it's a pain to add different screenshots. As you can see, these notes have lots and lots of different screenshots. And normally what I would have to do is file save as, save this screenshot right like this, go over to WordPress, find my file wherever I saved it right over here, take the file, upload the file, answer all the questions over here so that it actually puts it in my post, and then finally, I can insert it into the post. 
Whew. Man, I'm going to have to take a break after all that. But what if there was a better way? As we can see here, there's lots and lots of searches and very little competition for all kinds of keywords around file upload, how to upload on WordPress, maximum file, image upload, and on and on we go. So what I decided to do was make a plugin that would make it easy to upload things onto WordPress without having to download, save, upload, and everything like that. So what I did is come over here to ChatGPT and ask it to help me create a WordPress clipboard type plugin. I want something that I can go over here to my favorite image editor, copy it, and paste it right into WordPress without having to do anything else. And within minutes, it spit out a plugin, which worked right out of the gate. Now I had to do a little tweaking, and since I didn't know programming, I paid someone like $20 to help me tweak it, and bada bing, bada boom, now I have a plugin that can work like that. So all the user has to do is come over here and click on Upload Plugin. They're gonna choose the new WordPress Uploader plugin over here, right like this here. It's called WP City Snag right over here like this. We click on install now, and then it installs right over here like this. Pretty cool, right? And in this spot, I can actually customize it and have little upgrade offers, different affiliate offers, hosting offers, or anything that'll put money in my pocket. And the way this works is actually pretty simple. All we have to do is go to posts right like this, or pages, and when we're editing our post right like this, all I have to do is take whatever image I want right like this, hit copy, and then paste it right here into my WordPress page. And it actually goes through and uploads the image and does all that fancy stuff. I don't even have to save it. Yep, that's right. I just keep all my images in here like this and put them up here right like this. Super, super simple. And this saves me tons of time and helps me make money even faster. Then when I'm done, I hit update and my images are on the post. And real quick, if you find this useful and you would actually want this for your WordPress, type, I want this tool as a comment below. And if we get enough comments, I'll put it over on downloadmynotes.com and you can start using it right away. And this tool literally took less than four hours from start to finish. Next, what we're gonna do after we get our idea and our keywords and see that the market actually wants what we have to offer, we're gonna go through and visualize it with ChatGPT. You're gonna ask different questions about what your plugin would look like. Let's say, for example, we wanted to make that PDF one. We're gonna go through and create the PDF and look at what the flow looks like. Are we gonna go through and make a simple tool on our website? Are we gonna make a plugin they can download? Is it gonna be like a software that's behind some kind of paywall or something like that? We're gonna visualize how we want to do this. With this example here for the PDF combiner, I am probably just going to give it away free and then sell other PDF softwares as an affiliate. Or I could do something like remove.bg where we go through and let them do a couple of images free, but if they wanna sign up, it's only like $9 a month. And this adds up super, super fast. Do not underestimate the power of a couple of dollars a month times thousands of users. I mean, if you were to take a look at some of the success stories, we actually found quite a few over on Starter Story, who has a good channel all about startups and things like that. We can see here that there's an AI content generation tool that literally just plugs into OpenAI API, and he's making like 360 grand a year. Another guy has a wedding photographer app that generates $1.8 million a year. Here's another one that's doing an e-signature, 240,000 a year, and on and on we go. Here's a text magic one that does some kind of texting tool that's making over a million dollars a year. Now, I've made lots of money with software over the years, but one of the keys that makes it work for me is making things very simple. Notice how remove.bg is just one and done. Notice how the PDF combiner is literally just one and done. You upload PDFs, that's all there is to do. And if we were to look at companies like Google, Google, Literally, you just go there and search. That's all there is to it. So oftentimes, less is more. And the simpler it is to build and get to market, the quicker you're gonna make money and be able to grow into something bigger. And you can see all the different success stories from 
people who made apps for Yahoo sold for 30 million, 15 million, and yeah, this is super lucrative. So once we visualize our plugin and start building it with ChatGPT, what we're gonna do next is get a website. We're gonna need a website to host this on. If you don't wanna get a website, you can probably put it on free file sharing sites. However, that's not the best way to go about it. I would recommend going to gohubsite.com, set up your own website. It's only like $100 a year. It'll give you your own domain name and everything like that. But more importantly, what it's going to allow you to do is have cPanel and file folders. A lot of people don't know this, but websites pretty much work like your computer because after all, they are on a computer. So folders and files work the same way. If I have a folder here with different files in it, same thing happens online. And what you're gonna notice is that when you create the software in ChatGPT, it's gonna tell you where to put them. Very simple. So here, create a new directory called wp-content slash plugins. Then you're gonna have the name, clipboard paste. Then you're gonna have this file. This is much like a file on our computer right here. We have this file here, which is like an HTML file, which are my notes, as you can see up here. Very simple. So it's gonna work the same way. You're gonna upload them according to ChatGPT, the instructions they give you, and you're gonna create it and test it. I'm gonna put some more videos in the description that go over this more tech process and some other stuff about how to build these softwares as well. Number four, what we're gonna do is we're gonna decide on a price. Are we gonna charge for this or are we going to do it free? This all depends on what you're looking to build and you can always change it up later. Maybe give it away free to test it out and then charge for it down the road. Now, some of the ones that I've done that have made lots of money is like this super simple one that made glitter graphics. They would come here, they would put their name into the box and it would generate a glitter version of their name that they can download. This was super simple. This was before ChatGPT and AI. I actually had a friend of mine help me out with it that worked at an affiliate network and knew a little bit of programming. And we built this in about a day. Now, yes, I know it looks very basic and yeah, kind of silly, but this one generator made me over a million dollars. And no, I didn't charge for it. I actually gave it away for free. Please note, the results are not typical, implied, or guaranteed. While I've been at this and made millions of dollars over the last 25 years, the vast majority of people trying to make money online make nothing. So remember, this is a business. Don't expect to get rich overnight. And over here on theprofitscoop.com, I have tons of tools people can use that I give away for free. They lead into some of my paid tools and my paid courses and softwares and trainings. However, people can come here and use these tools free all day, every day, and twice on Sunday. And this generates lots of web traffic, which eventually turns into customers and money in my pocket. Once we decide on free or paid, we're gonna set up our site at gohubsite.com. If you're charging, you can use PayPal, ClickBank, Stripe, or any payment platform. You're gonna tie it in, put the price in there, put the name, and then once they're done, you make a thank you page where they download the product. It's very simple. Or you can do this all by email until you get enough money to make a full membership site. It's actually a lot easier than you might think. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna promote these via relevancy. What you're gonna do is use ChatGPT to help you promote this. We're gonna say, I have a WordPress copy and paste plugin. What are 50, what are 25 other plugins that work with the WordPress editor and or upload tool? And this is gonna go through and find similar plugins that aren't doing exactly what mine does, but those people might want my plugin also. And you can see here, it's going right down the list and giving me all the different plugins that people are using. And since, here's a big tip, now please list just the plugin names. Enter. This is gonna give us just the 25 plugin names. Now, keep in mind, there are hundreds of thousands of tools and plugins for WordPress, so this isn't anywhere near the entire list. But watch what happens when we put this into our keyword tool. 
and we could see that this small list of just 25 keywords has over 150,000 searches a month. And that doesn't even include the subcategory words. This starts to add up super quick. And funny enough, if you actually go to my YouTube channel about 12 years ago, right like this, you're gonna see that this is exactly what I did to build and grow my WordPress plugin business years ago. Here's one I put for ClickBank WordPress plugin, 28,000 views. WordPress squeeze pages, 18,000. And the all-in-one SEO tool, 27,000. So that's like 70,000 viewers watching my videos, learning about WordPress plugins that are prime to buy my product. It actually is that simple. What we're gonna do is we're gonna promote these with keywords, with relevant tools and products and things like that that we can help people with. We're gonna make videos, pins, webinars, tools, promote on mailing lists, forums, file sharing sites, Reddit, Quora, WordPress forums or PDF forums or whatever it is, paid ads, solo ads, banner ads, and the whole nine yards. I'll put a video about traffic methods in the description so you can watch that as well. But it's super important that you understand the FTPO principle. Okay, so what is this FTPO business and how is it gonna put money in your pocket? FTPO is for the purpose of. When we create software and tools, we want to make them for the purpose of something very specific. A specific group of people who want something that's going to help them be more efficient, make more money, get more sales, convert files, or anything that leads to something else. For example, my simple WordPress plugin. If I was to sell this, even though it only took four hours to make, let's say I sold it for $7 per copy, I could do this and getting three sales a day that would be like $7,000 a year. Hardly enough to write home about. But if I did this for the purpose of something else, then I can turn this into a gigantic business. Case in point, my friend Kim created a tool that helps people monetize their Facebook groups. Very specific niche. She markets it on Facebook and she makes money selling the tool. But she makes more money using FTPO. You see, what happens is when people buy those tools, let's say I sold this for $7 each. At the end of the year, maybe I'd have 1,000, 5,000 people who bought my plugin. And even if I got 5,000 people, that's still only $35,000. But what most people aren't paying attention to is the fact that I now have a list of 5,000 paid customers who are using my WordPress plugin daily and are gonna listen to me to buy lots of other things. Perhaps some of these people are on regular WordPress. I can get them to switch over to web hosting and make $150 to $300 a sale. Or perhaps they're looking for other software. I can get commission on that too. Or maybe I can come out with another plugin. Or maybe I make a more robust software. And what happens is as you're earning money, you are building a clientele list that's willing to listen to you and buy tons and tons of other things. And don't worry, you don't have to be on camera. This can all be done through email and website pages and different things like that. Nobody even has to know who you are. And creating these tools can be very, very lucrative because let's say I now come out with a more robust version of my tool down the road. I now have 5,000 people who are literally waiting with bated breath to buy my product. And therein lies the big problem. A lot of people want to compete with these giant companies like Alex Hormozy and ClickFunnels and, or Noah Kagan. Yeah, it's probably not going to happen. But what if you did one thing and did one thing really well? Perhaps you make a little shopping cart button for WordPress. You know, something simple for people who sell one product. Yeah. You can do that in like an afternoon. Aren't people who buy that little software really looking to just make money with their website anyway? Then you can promote these other products as an affiliate or come out with your own robust software that they can use and pay you for creating it. And also, don't forget the power of free software. We saw the example of the Honey app where they literally made a coupon tool that was given away free and PayPal gave them like $4 billion. But why? If this is free, how in the world is it worth $4 billion? 
Well, my friends, that is the power of the audience. Again, if I have a bunch of people using a tool, free or paid, that's people in my database that will buy other things for the purpose of. Let's say I make a simple tool for dentists that use WordPress to be able to get bookings. I could probably build that in a few days. If I was to give it away, now I get a list of a bunch of dentists who want to get more clients with their website or something simple like the plugin I just showed you where they can copy and paste different things on their WordPress. Again, I'm getting a giant list of WordPress users simply by offering this tool for free. And using this strategy with AI to create little tools, plugins, and software as a service businesses is actually a lot easier than most people think. I'm actually gonna put three videos in the description talking about exactly how to do this, including one that came out just days after ChatGPT was created where I showed people how to do this in a very simple way. It's actually a really fun video with my mini motorcycle. So check that one out. And if you want notes from this video, including the links, the keyword list, and access to the plugin, check out downloadmynotes.com. And as always, if you wanna work with me, check out blogprofitnetwork.com, where we talk about marketing each and every week. Thanks again for watching, smash that like button, and check out the links in the description.